Hello friends. Today I'm um, working on the installation of the BMC air filter on the 2013 Project Diablo bike. And uh, got stuff laid out. Uh, went on the Diablo forum and a guy named Ace on there posted up some really good directions. I'll leave a link to that in the bottom of the video. Uh, the tools you're going to need are right down here. Uh, if you had a ratcheted 10 millimeter, it would be better than my 10 millimeter because it's real tight quarters. So try and get a ratcheted one if you have one. Blue Loctite, 2.53 4 Allen meet, uh, Allen wrench, a long handled four if you got one, and uh, that's what you're going to need to do this. Uh, so I've got everything laid out, ready to go. I'll uh, actually get on the the bike here shortly. Uh, his instructions say to pull the uh, left side off. I've looked at as much as I could find on the forum and other other things I could find and it sounds like you can pull the left side off, get in there. Uh, at the dealer they're going to pull both sides off and part of that is going to be the fit and I'll see when I pull it off how well I can get it uh, to fit uh, in there snug like you want it and, and uh, kind of how it turns out. So. Uh, we'll give you some. Uh, try and go with the blow by blows. Uh, you know, as we get going, I do know that uh, we start with this uh, one right here. I believe it's a four. I'll look it up again to make sure. And uh, then we just work our way around. So I'll get to that and then uh, show you as uh, as I'm going with it. Be right back. So that first uh, bolt is a four millimeter. Got that one out. I'll be working next on the grills and these grill bolts are 2.5 millimeters and then on the inside in there I've got to turn the camera sideways here to see in there so you have to tilt your head those are three millimeter and I'll be going after those two and those should be good enough to get that grill out of there all right so after uh, removing the 2.5 screws in the front and the uh, 3.0 uh, screws in the back this grill should just pull right out of there and it lets you see the air scoop and what's going on there you can also see the thing that you'll be getting to next which is that uh, 10 millimeter screw right there you'll unscrew that all the way until it just lets the little clip out of the back right there and you can leave the screw in you'll just have to unscrew it out to that point you can do, uh, do it by hand once you get it loose and then uh, once it's detached from there this will just pull off and then you actually just scoot the whole scoop forward with the two slots and it comes right out of there all right so I've got that spot uh, right there I've got the bolt unscrewed quite a ways you just can pull the tab right out up to the side and then I should be able to just pull this thing this cover back off and yeah that's it I just pulled it slid it forward and it came right off a couple notes about uh, pulling that part off these uh, little rubber guys are the sl have slots in them where you're gonna put that uh, piece back in later uh, one of them came out and they're greased and uh, so I put it back in immediately so that the they're ready to go when it's time but just thought I'd point that out that you want to make sure you've got them this uh, intake uh, tube here is what we're going to be messing with next it is already loose in the front this is the one that has uh, it has a nut way in the back there you can barely see it back there and then it's got another one down low beside it. This shot here kind of shows you both of them. And then there's one deep in the back there. There you can see it. Up high. So there's three of them. Pull those three out. Make sure you don't drop them down in the engine compartment. And then there's a tube right here that connects onto the back of it and you'll press down on, on the top of that guy right there to pull that off when you're taking it off. So there's a stock filter out, and we'll uh, look at the BMC filter. Now this is the 
the BMC race uh, filter that they have. They make a standard version and a race version. Uh, I showed the guys uh, the project, what I'm doing, what I'm running for the tuner, which is Rapid Bike and the competition works exhaust and they said that they thought the race filter would work the best so that's uh, that's what I got. We'll uh, pull it out of the package and then compare the two for size and stuff. So when comparing them to size I've lined them up uh, on the edges and uh, it's identical on both sides so for for the width it's exactly the same width as the as the stock filter is you can see looking down the sides, everything looks the same, so it should go straight in just like the original. That's what I'll do next. Right, one of the things I did when I was putting this uh, in is I took the stock air filter and I stuck my hand in it and I installed it back in a couple of times so I would know really how that stock one fit and, and was supposed to go. Uh, so I could put the, the BMC in and know that it went in the same way. It, it's in all the way as far as I can go, it goes up to the bumps in the back. It's not jiggling or moving and I push my hand on the inside of it and uh, it's in on both sides really good. So um, that tells me that it's in there and it should seal up real nice when I put the uh, the other tube on and with the screws. Those screws are a bear. I mean as far as taking them out I lost the top one. It dropped down into the inside and had to do my praying to God please help me find that screw and and uh, stuck my hand in there and it fell right down to the bottom into my hand so okay great now we're uh, back to assembling it hey I know I've already started putting the cover on but uh, I thought I'd better talk about this uh, the filter installation uh, before I get really any further and forget this uh, I I've had uh, been doing aftermarket filters over 40 years with ATVs and uh, I've had them on every bike I've had in over 30 years of street so uh, I know about putting on filters and uh, this was a, it was just a huge pain for, for one reason and that is those three bolts that are inside uh, that you attach that tube with. Pulling the, the tube out and keeping those bolts from dropping is a, a pain and then when you put it back in you know you, you have to be so careful to make sure that they seat right and, and you don't lose any. I got them in there, I got them on tight. but. Uh, what I would say, first of all, uh, if you could swing it and you're close to a dealer, just have them do it. It'd be worth the effort and no stress. If you're going to do it yourself, in the removing part of it, what I would do is I would start to loosen all three of those bolts and I would pull the tube out so that I kept the tension firm on the bolts as I was going and, and continue to do that and then that way I'd have a better chance of getting uh, everything out further and closer to the outside so when the bolts either came out or I could get the wrench out there and the bolts still stay intact and pull the tube at least you have a better chance of getting stuff out there without it falling down. I'm sure mechanics or other people would have a, a smarter way of doing this, maybe putting cardboard or paper or something underneath so just when it falls it just catches and rolls out. And so that, that would be great too, but wow, that was not fun. Okay, I'm going to keep putting this thing together. It's clipped on really easy and now it's just bolting everything back so it's going good for putting it together. When you're uh, before you're putting everything back, one of the things I did do is I took the grill and made sure it was debugged so it's all cleared. I mean, it doesn't do you any good to put all this stuff in to make the thing breathe and not to clean your stuff out when you're putting it back together. The other thing is make sure that you got the tube, uh, that you check the tube and it's all clear and clean and looks good uh, on everything on the insides there. This bike uh, only has uh, 800 miles. It hasn't been out in bad weather or anything like that, so everything was clean and, and clear, but uh, just something to, to note when you're doing it. So I put the blue Loctite on the back. Um, Ace had said that. I saw some what looked like red Loctite in it, and maybe it needs red Loctite, but I just was a little iffy about putting red with the uh, plastic. But... Uh, Anyway, so I put some on there and put those two in the back and put the uh, two in the front and the grills. And uh, the last thing to do was then to stick the four millimeter bolt in right there. And it's uh, all back together and on and, and done. So air cleaner is in. And uh, I guess we'll be getting ready next to do the uh, 
um, rapid bike install um, and then uh, after that will be the quick shift so I'm, I'm excited about it. It's going to be fun to uh, get it all together. So thanks for watching. That's the uh, air filter, uh, BMC air filter install on the uh, Project Diablo bike. Thanks.